think it has made web development accessible to a lot of people who didn't necessarily um, have any way of doing web development before. And I think it has made the web more interesting because if you left the web to just be developed by computer science students, computers, people with computer science background, the web would be terrible. It would be boring. It would be done by, by geeks and not by people with a more diverse background uh, and lots of other new and interesting ideas. The first is probably accessibility in the sense that it's, it's available everywhere. Every, any ISP you go to, your $10 a month shared hosting account somewhere, there's going to be PHP support on it. So it's really easy to find somewhere where you can host your, your PHP code. It's not necessarily as easy in other environments out there. Um, second is the learning curve that you don't have to know very much to get started with PHP. You can take a static HTML file, write it in Word, do save as HTML, for example, and add a couple of PHP tags, and you have a dynamic web page without knowing anything at all. Um, and third, I think, is the community around PHP. And because PHP is so web-focused, every example you see out there is a web-based example. If you start looking at Java code, for example, or, or code in any other language, it's not necessarily web-related, the, the examples that you see, and you have to think about, well, how do I use this tool in the web context? Whereas with PHP, everything about it is web-related. All the documentation gives you examples that are web-related. So in that sense, because it's a targeted language, I, I think it makes it easier for people. I like to think that it's developer friendly, but developers are a varied bunch. There are developers who are very pure computer science strict developers, and there are developers who don't really think of themselves as developers, more as creative idea people. And we try to strike a balance and make PHP useful and accessible to the whole range of developers out there. It's a little bit hard to please everybody the whole time. And have we improved over the years? I, I think so. I, I think we've added things. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the heavy duty object oriented features that beginner programmers are not really going to understand are, are targeted towards the higher end. And I'd actually like to see us focus a bit more on the beginner developers as well. Most of the improvements we've made have been at, at the higher end of the range. Um, so overall, I think we've improved it for developers. Um, and have developers become more friendly toward PHP? I don't think so. I, I think it's, it's gone downhill in a sense that because PHP has gotten so popular, because it has broad appeal and mass appeal, it's no longer as cool to be a PHP developer. When it was new and interesting, it was very cool to, to say, hey, I, I, I know PHP. Today, everyone knows PHP, so it's no longer... You don't stand out because you can program in PHP, because everyone can program in PHP. So PHP's license isn't, it's really not a specific PHP license. It's just the, the BSD license, but the BSD license is BSD in the sense that it's the Berkeley license, right? Anybody who use a BS, uses a BSD-derived license has to put their own project name in. They don't, it's not Berkeley, it's, it's PHP. And it, it was just the Apache license with Apache removed and PHP name put in. But I'm using a BSD license as opposed to a GPL-based license because um, I wanted PHP to be available to everyone anywhere even in commercial projects. And I don't see any reason why Microsoft shouldn't be able to bundle PHP with their next distribution, for example. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't have commercial versions of whatever that have PHP built in. I, I didn't want to have those restrictions that the GPL imposes. This is, this is a tool, this is sort of a, a mass tool that should be available to everyone everywhere, commercial or non-commercial.
So one of the reasons that Yahoo chose PHP specifically because I was there for, for seven years is they, they looked at how easy it was to train people to use PHP. They looked at the documentation and they, and they looked at hiring. Like how hard is it for us to go out and hire a bunch of people that may not already know PHP, but at least are capable and competent enough that we can train them quickly to get up to speed on, on how we use PHP at Yahoo. And compared to other technologies, especially at the time, which was like 2001, they're making this decision, uh, PHP was just the obvious choice for them because of the, the market share that PHP has. There were enough people with at least basic PHP knowledge to p pull from when they went out looking for people. And it also, because of the, the scaling nature of PHP, it fit into Yahoo's scaling model where they do lots and lots of servers. Each server doesn't take a whole lot of requests, but scaling massively horizontally. So for a large organization where scalability is important, PHP fits extremely well. So I think those were the two main reasons for, for using that Yahoo. So the performance with the scalability plus being uh, able to hire people into it. And I, I'm sure other organizations see the same thing. I, I guess PHP kind of blurs the lines between hardcore development team versus sort of put your content online, like content management. You can take Drupal, for example, right? Install Drupal, get a couple of guys to sit down, configure it, maintain it. And you, you can call that your development team in the sense that they're running Drupal and they're putting content in and configuring and installing various Drupal plugins and things. So if, if that's a development team, then yeah, I, I guess maybe that is changing slightly, but I, I'm not so sure. It depends how you use PHP, right? If you're using PHP to simply run a framework or a targeted application like Drupal or WordPress, is that still a development team? I don't know, maybe it is once you start writing plugins for it. But I think, so that in the, the way PHP evolved in the early days of the web, there were a lot of companies that said, hey, we need to get on the web. And the first thing they did was say, our product documentation, let's put our manual online. Let's put all the documentation about our products online. So they went to the documentation team and said, hey guys, let's put this stuff online. And the documentation team says, hey, okay, what's this HTML thing, whatever, let's just do a save as HTML in Word and put this stuff online, right? We have our web page. And they instantly became the web team. So. In that sense, I think some of these teams have migrated towards becoming development teams because then the company says, well, okay, let's, let's hire someone who knows what SQL means and let's, let's bring them in and let's, let's, let's migrate this technical writing team into our web content team with a few technical guys thrown in to help out. So I don't think it's necessarily PHP that has changed that. I think the web has changed that. The web is getting more and more complex that any sizable company is going to need some decent development capability um, in-house because there are just too many things if you're always outsourcing this to somebody else. It's just too many little things that always need to be done. All the different people that have ended up using PHP over the years have helped propagate PHP to some extent. Um, whether one particular thing or another, I, I think it's just the combination of all of them together. You go to toyota.com and you see PHP pages, right? You go to Wikipedia, you go to various US government sites and you see PHP on there. So I, I think for people who are making the decisions, in these various companies, yes, that has obviously helped the reputation of it because they say, hey, all these sites out there that I use every day, they're using it. They, they, they can't all be wrong. It's, it's gotta, if it works for the US government, it's gotta be secure and fast and, and reliable enough for me. So I, I do think all of these have helped. And, and Drupal especially has helped um, getting into uh, government sites and, and, and large institutions like that. 